And now it's time for a little visit with Joey. Normally I am in the studio with Joey or we flip flop, but now it's my turn to sit here and hang out with Joey in the studio. How are you? You get to wear the makeup today. I don't have to wear the makeup today. <laughs> and you I get to wear a hat. I don't have to show off my bald head today. Look at that so shiny head. It. No, it looks great. So um, we've been talking a lot about leftovers and you are very opinionated on whether or not you want to eat leftovers, if they're even something that is in your realm of life, is that something you're interested in at all? You have yeah. um, some rules when it comes to leftovers. I, I do. So the, the whole reason this started, and I think if, if anybody is at an office today or with your coworkers, I think you need to ask them what their leftover rules are. So here's the deal. I almost quit. I almost quit Joey and Lauren in the morning yesterday based on the amount of people I work with that are eating leftovers for over a week old. So check this out. So yesterday we're in a staff meeting. We're talking. You were over at uh, KTVB at Idaho Today, and we were talking about leftovers. And I said, oh, yeah, I don't really mess with leftovers. Maybe the next day. I couldn't believe how many people are like, oh, yeah, no. If I don't see mold, I'll just keep eating. Listen, if you Google it, you're not supposed to eat leftovers after like three days. Yeah, but so don't I have everything you see on the internet. You just have to do the sniff test. That's what I do. I grew up cutting mold pieces off the cheese block and just going with it like it's totally fine. My mom would like pick off the mold of the bread. You don't waste food. And when it comes to leftovers, we would eat literally my mom's casseroles and stuff. We would eat it for like a week until it was done. Yeah, so that's how I was raised. And then one time I had spoiled Nesquik. And from that moment on, I don't mess with expired food. So <laughs> I have a power rankings of leftovers. Number one okay. is pizza. Pizza is number one. You I can, can get eat on leftover board with pizza. That. Yeah. You can eat left you can you can eat it cold. You can reheat it in the microwave. You can air fry it. You can put it on the skillet. So pizza is the top of the leftover chain. Second one is gonna be pasta. Mostly cream pasta. You see, I've thought about this. So your fettuccines. Uh, you know, your vodka sauce, those kind of things. Number three is Chinese food. Okay. Outside of those three, Lauren, I do not <laughs> think you should be eating leftovers. I, Maybe a casserole. I'm with you a little bit. Like, I would never eat a sandwich the next day or like I would never eat a leftover burger because that's disgusting because the bread at that point is like soggy or the lettuce is wilted so I get I get you there but the pastas and everything else I'll eat them for days like days and you're saying what just the day after okay well first of all I did some research so I'm okay. just letting everyone of know that's watching <laughs> this fine program uh it says it is recommended that you only I'm reading this right now okay. so I'm not making it up it is recommended news. that you only eat leftovers from three to four days. So if you trust, and now you're saying you can't trust the internet, but this is like, I mean, it's not the CDC or whatever, but it's definitely, I mean, it's an article. It's an article from <laughs> smart people, three to four days. <laughs> from smart people. Uh, Daniel, uh, producer Daniel in my area is saying that cold pizza is much better than hot pizza. That's his opinion. How do you feel about that? I have problems, and next week when I see <laughs> Daniel, I'm gonna ask him more questions about that. So you're saying you prefer cold pizza over hot pizza, like in general, or like if you're gonna eat leftovers, you eat the cold pizza? Because that's important. He's saying if he's gonna eat leftovers, he, he likes to eat them cold. The cold pizza is good. Okay, that's okay. I mean, he'll eat but it hot when he gets you. it, but he likes it cold. Yes, uh, pizza air fried is the best way to eat leftover pizza. If you have an air fryer, and you've ne you only put chicken nuggets in it or whatever, I'm telling you, if you have an air fryer and you have leftover pizza, it is elite, and it's the closest to fresh pizza when you got it the day before. Okay, and how do you feel about expiration dates? Do you follow you them? You did that on purpose. Do you follow Lauren, them? Lauren, you did that on purpose. <laughs> I don't mess with them. I could take soda. Uh -huh. I could take a can, a can of green beans, and if it's the day before the expiration date, I won't touch it. I don't mess with You're insane. With it. You are certifiably insane because when something is canned, it is preserved for basically forever. That's then my don't opinion. put a date on it. Then don't put a date <laughs> on it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna live a healthy okay. life not eating expired foods. You're gonna die on that hill. Okay, Joey, we know he is very passionate about his leftovers and now the expired foods. And uh, Joey, thank you. I guess you're just gonna stick with your opinion there. So we, we appreciate you joining I am. us. <laughs> I am. Don't right. eat expired food. More Idaho today right after the break. Thanks, Joey.